of a move. Another basement game center. First one in a while. Yeah, let me turn this down. Yeah, hello, 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 and welcome to another Basement Game Center. This is Ralph, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Disney Afternoon Collection. Uh, this came out last year. Uh, it contains six of the Capcom Disney um, Nintendo Entertainment System games, including DuckTales, DuckTales 2, Chippendale's Restoration, Chippendale's Restoration 2, Darkwing Duck, and uh, Tailspin. So let's take a look at this. Uh, I'm just going to need a second to prep up. Wait a hot minute. We'll take a look at some music, I guess, in the meantime. Can't go wrong with the moon. Okay, I think today we're going to take a look at uh, Darkwing Duck. And this is one of the games that I have been um, and still don't own. So I've only played it a little bit through emulation. Uh, it's comparable to like Mega Man. Uh, it's pretty tough, but it has some other uh, gameplay mechanics that Mega Man doesn't have that kind of make it a... Uh, an interesting, unique piece on its own. And my mic one, right? Yeah. Excuse that alarm. This is a good show. I haven't watched it for a while, so I don't remember a ton about it. it might be time to take another look at it. Get a comment. Got to pull open my uh. Excuse me, my YouTube app. Dark wing duck. Okay. Sorry, I'm just pulling up in the app. Just be one second, here we go. Yes, your mic is on, okay. Once again, we need your help, Darkwing. We believe these crimes are the work of that secret criminal organization, FOWL. You must put an end to their fiendish plans. Launchpad will brief you on the details of your missions. Remember to collect all the stolen diamonds and gold bars. Good luck, Darkwing. Hey, where should we no go now, DW? Uh, I tried this stage before, and it's really freaking hard, so I'm gonna do this one. Quacker Jack, great name, and his henchmen are blocking the construction of the new bridge. You better stop him before somebody gets hurt. You wanna go there? Yes. One thing about playing these on PlayStation 4 is like square is B and A is X so they're on kind of a weird slant it's like not too bad for me because I like I played a lot of Mega Man on PlayStation growing up like PS2 and whatever but when I was playing DuckTales the other day because you gotta hold down the B button when you're doing your pogo Thing on the uh, your Scrooge's cane, um, 
Yeah, um, I was screwing up a lot. Okay, and this is the hard part of this game. You had to really line up on these. This makes me super nervous. My hands are sweating so much right now. And I did play this stage a little bit too, so I'm, I'm making it look a little easier than it actually is. It took me a few tries to get to this point. Um, a lot of people say this game is really hard. Uh, I don't know. Um, I played harder on the NES for sure. I think the difficulty is pretty well balanced. Like, I don't know if it's even as hard as Mega Man, but... Like, this stuff. Makes me really nervous. Okay, this one's tough, because you gotta shoot him, like, right when you land. Oh, fuck! Oh, excuse me. Drop that F-bomb. Wasn't gonna be too long before that happened. For a game like this. Old games and swearing are pretty much exclusive for me. If I didn't swear while playing an old game, something would be wrong, probably. I already got that extra life, so... I think this game has some particularly nice sprite work, too. Uh, it's towards the end of the lifespan of the system, so... By this point, uh, Capcom... Uh, development teams probably knew the hardware pretty well and were able to make it look pretty pretty spiffy. Especially if you take like a step back and you don't see all the pixels and stuff as much. I'm gonna check the comments real quick. One thing I like about this game is there's no time limit. And they have something now that's like top chat versus like live chat on the uh, YouTube gaming app, which is a pain, especially if you only have a few people who watch you. Shoot! I'm gonna run out of lives. Um, but, yeah, positive things about this game, man, the, the game feel is out of this world, it's really nice, um, the controls are really s slick, uh, I guess, like, one of the topper parts of this game is you notice that the, the life bar is, like, significantly lower than, like, Mega Man, yeah, it's a four hit, but I feel like you also get health a little bit more in this game, um, and I, I love love, love, love the grabbing mechanic. That's that's the big difference between this and Mega Man. Um, also, ducking. And check that out. Isn't that cool? I don't think it does anything, but if you hit up, he uses his cape. I don't know. Especially as a kid, that would have been something that I would have loved. It makes you feel like you have more control over the character. You can make him dance. Anyway, um, I was reading about uh, Shinji Mikami the other day because I was uh, telling Michelle about how Capcom used to have the Disney license for video games, and um, uh, also talking about uh, God darn it, talking about the Disney Afternoon. Um, basically, a lot of I was like, okay, I guess I should rewind a little bit. I was trying to figure out why I knew all these shows so well, knowing that they had come out in the 80s originally, um, for the most part of the early 90s. And the answer is that 1995 to 1996, uh, Disney Channel ran the Disney Afternoon, which was reruns of uh, the four shows that are featured um, actually in this game collection. 
So, yeah, I mean, like, even just thinking about when the games came out versus, you know, my, my particular lifespan. I was trying to figure out, you know, like, why was I so familiar with these? And that's the answer. Um, another show that, you know, was uh, later uh, was uh, Goof Troop, you know, and I was saying how the guy who did Resident Evil, Shinji Mikami, that was one of the first games he worked on. One thing I didn't realize is that he also worked on Aladdin, which is one of my all-time favorite um, Super Nintendo games. Okay. There, okay, that works too. I'm gonna risk it. Oh my god, you see this? Ah, uh, it kills me. Ah, uh, okay, I did it. He wasn't even standing on the thing anymore. Okay. Mega hand sweat. But yeah, go Shinji Mikami, man. Like, Aladdin and Goof Troop. Like, Goof Troop's one of the best co-op games. Um, probably on the Super Nintendo. And Aladdin's a freaking masterpiece and on its own. Um, I mean, that's that's a cool one where it was like both of the licensed games were good, like, and debatably, like, it was hard to pick one or the other. Like, Virgin Interactive did really, really well with the Sega Genesis version. Um, with the Sega Genesis version, the actual animation team uh, did the the animated. Uh, like did the the cell uh, whatever the, the sprite animation it, the, the sprite animation was adapted from actual uh uh log. um it was adapted from actual animation from uh, the the animation team who worked on the movie <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how else to put it um so it looks ridiculously nice, especially for a Sega Genesis game. And they also were able to get all the licensed music for uh, the Aladdin uh, Sega Genesis game, uh, where I believe the Super Nintendo version only had um, Magic Carpet Ride, or A Whole New World, that's it. A whole new world. Um... Even these guys are so reminiscent of. Hey man, point his cape over. Oh, sweaty hands, sweaty hands. Looks pretty nice one back here. Crud. Freaking respawn rates of these guys. So yeah, no, Aladdin um, was very fortunate in getting two great games. some extra life. Oh, crap. Continue. I guess I could try continue from the beginning. Whatever, I'll just get really good at this level, I guess. <coughs> oh, shoot. I didn't know that they could do that. So if you hit select, you can use your alternative weapon. I didn't know that. Now I'm kind of wondering what I'm collecting here. Are they gems? I should get that extra life. Um, can you see that up there? That looks pretty much like a, a diamond or a gem, right? Crap. 
Also a kind of cool thing is you'll notice that he grabs one of the different places of the hook. So there are different hitboxes, most likely, for different places on the hook. Of course, that also makes it so it gets, like, really weird, uh... Like, you can miss the hook and stuff, which sucks, but... As long as you're careful and line things up, um, it's not too, too bad. You just have to kind of look on the detail of, uh, the object. I'm gonna take a second to check out comments. Golden diamonds. Yeah, I think so too. Like, I don't know what's up with that. Um, like I said, I need to rewatch Darkwing Duck. I own like a bunch of DuckTales. Um, I don't know if I have the whole thing, but I have a lot of them. Um, like two or three seasons of it. I just, I don't really remember Darkwing. Like, I guess he's stopping, like, criminals, so he's, like, collecting the jewels that they stole. I guess it's just kind of odd, because he collects similar stuff in DuckTales, but it makes sense for Scrooge, because he's, like, a greedy duck man. Okay, and it looks like you can only carry one special at a time. Which, since you don't get them from boss enemies, I guess that makes more sense. His regular gun seems pretty good too. Like, so far I haven't gotten to the point where I was like, this isn't enough. Where Mega Man's lemons have definitely been... <laughs> ...lacking in the past. Jump over this guy. Of course not. Fuck. That quick. Shoot. It's like it's tough because I can't just like wait in one spot. Okay, you gotta hit. Down jump, and then down. Not down jump, down jump. So if you hit down jump, down jump, you're just gonna jump back up. And you're gonna die just like that, Ralph. Good work. I'll just like kinda wait here. Maddening. Oh my god, I hate this guy so much. God. Ah! Okay, at least I have another shot. I I don't get me wrong, I'm <laughs> I am having my own brand of fun here. I enjoy a challenge. Especially with an old game. Because it's fair. It's fair, I'm just my reflexes aren't quick enough. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. I hate this. 
Oh, I hate Banana Man. I hate him. Is he an actual banana? He looks like an actual banana. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. That's... Try not to swear so much. Mother... Burger, 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 burger. Oh. I still have another try. check comments maybe there's some advice this is really hard this would infuriate me yeah it is this is one of the tougher bosses I've just faced in general in video games I know that's silly to say but it's enough that having to jump down like you have to hit down after you're hanging to get down means that you don't move fast enough hit this guy. And I don't think there's any choice with the weapon that I have. I just have to kind of get close to him, I guess. Having him at a distance means that my shots aren't going to reach him. So I got reason this. And then with the top one, I should just not. I should just get up there to get him to move. Because there's no way to, like, it's so hard to dodge this shit. <sighs> okay. Well, that's alright. Um, I'm going to do a different level. Sorry, I got a text. Okay. Yeah, I love this game, man. This is great. Wolf Duck and his <laughs> Wolf Duck and his henchmen are rampaging through the center of the city. But be careful, Wolf Duck goes berserk when the moon comes out. You wanna go there? Yeah, like I said, the other level is like ridiculously hard. But of course this is the first level that I tried when I want to play this for the first time in like who knows how long the only way I've played this game before was through emulation and trying to play this on a keyboard um, I'm sure you can imagine the level of frustration you know considering that I'm using one of the best controllers on the market right now and I'm still struggling Grrrg. It's a beautiful game, though. I mean, for the era, I think it's hard to argue. The good use of color, the sprite work is really top-notch. There's a lot of different animations for the characters. Um, and, I mean, more, more so, more important than anything else, it plays well. It's just freaking hard. Like, I don't know... Sometimes I wondered, like, who they were aiming some of these Disney games at with their difficulty. This is probably the hardest. <sighs> the best shit I played. Um, Tailspin is the one I played the least, probably, of the three that I that I own. Um, physically, which is Ducktales, Rescue Rangers, and no, Tailspin. <sighs> The big reason I got this collection was to play, um, even though these games are, uh, are still under uh, emulation, um, at, at the very least, you know, it was first, you know, it's first, it's the, the company that put them out, I'm able to support the game in some capacity, um, and I really love the DuckTales remake, so if that, this, like, supports, like, getting more of that sort of content out, that would be really cool. I'm gonna check. Chat. Chat. 
shooting literal fireballs. I know, like, what the fuck? Oops, I mean, what the fuzz? Jeez. Okay. Well, since the stream is more generalized, I'm gonna switch to a different game. Anyway, really cool game. I'll give it another solid shot in the future. I'll, I'll like, I'm just gonna go through some of these games. Um, DuckTales 2. This is another one I haven't played very much because again, only played through emulation on the computer. Game Store used to work out. Got, um, I actually think all three of these, Darkwing Duck, DuckTales 2, and Rescue Rangers 2, um, in box years ago, well not years ago, like a, a year, a year ago, um, fortunately the place is, or for, I don't know, the, the place is closed now, regardless, I wanted them so bad, but you know, it's like, I think like 300 or more dollars to try to get them physically, like, especially like, in box. Legend says the fable crystal flower that only blooms once every thousand years is on the far side of the falls, be careful. Linharp Gongold is after the Crystal Flower, too. Do you want to go there, Uncle Scrooge? No. Okay, so we have Bermuda, Bermuda, Egypt, Niagara, and Scotland. Oh, and Mu? Let's go to Scotland. Wow! This is ancient castle is ruled by an evil sorcerer who guards a secret treasure known as the Lamp of Eternity. You want to go there, Uncle Scrooge? Yep. See, my only problem is, like, you know, Launchpad calls him Mr. McD. Like, I'm pretty, pretty sure he's like, hey, Mr. McD! But, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm remembering things wrong. But, um, yeah, this game is basically a harder version of DuckTales. Um, DuckTales being an uh, incredible game that weird, weird s circumstance, you know, has very different game mechanics. I mean, this weird pogo aspect um, inspired, uh, what was it, it was, uh, Shovel Knight is heavily inspired by this game. Yeah, a lot of these treasure chests are tough to get. Oh yeah, and the new game mechanic in this game is that you can like pull stuff with your cane, and I think you can, yeah, you can hang off these guys with your cane too. So I guess there, there's another similarity with Darkwing, you just don't have. You just don't have a projectile. But yeah, you can see, like, I bet... Like, to get that chest, I need to get this frog. To turn around, which I don't think he's gonna do. Again, another close to the end of lifespan game for the NES. And, like, I think, like, it, it's just, it's just taking a minute to admire these backgrounds. Um, like, even the multicolored spider web there, just to, like, uh... You know, uh, well, you can see they do it on a lot of things to add depth to the objects. Um, so these like pots are like three color. Oh, get the ah crap! Scrooge would be really angry at me for missing money. Man, I want a toy of Scrooge, like where he's just like bouncing on his cane. Maybe like get a little spring in it. I picked up that Funko Scrooge figure, and it is fucking nice. Like, for 13 bucks, um, I got no complaints. Uh, I think Funko should definitely, um, do more figures. I'd love a Huey, Dewey, and Louie, like, three... <laughs> shoot! Like a three-pack or something. Good. Good. Ugh, 
see, and I bet there's also multiple paths. Um, is one thing that the DuckTale games have always. Oh. Oh, I wonder if you get new abilities. That was another aspect of the first DuckTales game that's particularly impressive. Is the, the, the branch, like not branching paths per se. I don't know if that's like the best way to put it, but multiple paths. Um, you can collect more money that way. For instance, um, I was playing the first game last night a little bit, and uh, if you hit down, you just let go. So. Transylvania, not Transylvania, the Amazon to go to Niagara. Fable Crystal Flare that blows only one down to use our center. Because you gotta fight Flint, Flint Heart, Clown Gold. Clown Gold. But yeah, um, I mean, I, it's pretty appropriate that the Disney games have good sprite animation and stuff, considering, you know, their origin. <sighs> okay, to get that ice cream, for instance. Shoot. You had to have to hit forward and... Attack. Which is square. Yeah, there must be, like, different powers in this game, because there's more of those guys right there. What you get, Battle Squirrels? Finally, you make it level last for you. So now you're going to take the time well with Darkwing. Oh, yeah? That's... <laughs> Did you see that? The waterfall? Quackaroony, Uncle Scrooge. I can only pull it, so. I haven't watched more of the duck, new DuckTales show yet. Um, like, it's kind of cool. Like, alright. One, one aspect. Boom. Um, it's really nice that they honor the Carl Barks comics. Michael Squares! You gotta help him. Okay, Webby. So, that's one nice aspect. My... And I'm glad that they're not doing the same show over, I guess. Um, I'm glad that Donald is a pretty significant part of the show, it appears. It should be that way, if you're gonna go for a more Barksian. Oh, cool. Uh, feel, but not crazy about the personalities of the nephews or Webby. Hey, so Scrooge, here, take this iron adapter. You can use it on things that wouldn't break with a normal polo jump. Oh. Cool. Ooh. His hat almost knocked him off. So, with that said, I think David Tennant does a pretty nice job, um, as Scrooge, um, it'll still be weird, but it's not, like, an intentional choice to not use Alan Young anymore, you know, obviously he passed away, uh, last year, and he was pretty old, uh, we had many years of Scrooge, um, and... Now we have like a, it's, it's, I don't know, I'm, I'm excited to see what the show does. I just, I, I, you know, as long as it stays true to like, the, the overall vibe of the Ducks, see, Duck series, I don't know, crap. Because, you know, it's Uncle Scrooge and Donald Duck is the comics, the Duck Tales is the show. I don't know what you call it. As a whole. But yeah, like Scrooge has his red jacket in the new series. Like there's a lot of like homage. Um I'm not as familiar with Don Rose's stuff, who's like the uh 
uh, bu 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 he's like, this guy took over, more or less, after, um, Karl Marx. I've heard him referred to as, like, the greatest Barks, like, fanboy out there. His art's really nice. I met him years ago, and bought an illustrate like, it was a print, and he signed it for me, I gave it to my dad. Fortunately, like, it seems like I was more familiar with Don Rosa than my dad was. And he was a pretty nice guy, like, I don't know, it's hard to say if I'm just meeting somebody for a few minutes, but... He was a boy. Oh, my God, my God. at his table. He's like, fuck, I love ducks. Maybe like, maybe 20 bucks. Get a signature with a nice print. Hmm, where do you get that one? I guess Gyro gives you a bunch of powers. Like the home Uncle Scrooge. You probably have to go through the levels, like, more than once. To get everything. Uh, I give him props on this waterfall effect, because... A lot of times... Oh, freaking darn it. Uh, a lot of times, it can... Be really distracting. This one doesn't really hurt my eyes. Maybe it's because I'm not playing on a CRT. I know, blasphemy, right? Ralph not playing on a CRT. Oh, there's nothing to jump onto. Oh, my hands are mega sweat. Well, uh. Some duck tails. The, the, the airplanes, it's so dark one. Anyway, um... I'm gonna uh, stop streaming for now. Thanks for watching. Um... I'll, uh, I'll stream some of the other games later. I just gotta pick up Michelle uh, at 6. Takes about a half hour to get out there. I need to like prep myself a little bit um, before I head out. Use the bathroom and junk. So, thanks again for watching uh, another Basement Game Center. Uh, this is Ralph, and we were taking a look at the Disney Afternoon Collection. A uh, bunch of different NES games on the uh, PlayStation 4. I think it came out on Xbox One. Uh, highly recommended. It's a really good deal. Uh, a lot of fun, great way to show your kids uh, these games if you've never played them, or check them out for yourself if you never got a chance. Uh, have a great day, and I'll uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.